Paramita Sanskrit, Pali or Parami Pali is perfection or completeness. While, technically, Parami and Paramita are both Pali terms, Pali literature makes far greater reference to Parami. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Donald S. Lopez, Jr. describes the etymology of the term, the term paramita, commonly translated as, "...perfection", has two etymologies. The first derives it from the word parama, meaning, "...highest", "...most distant", and hence, "...chief", "...primary", "...most excellent". Hence, the substantive can be rendered, "...excellence", or "...perfection". This reading is supported by the Madhyantavabhaga v.4, where the twelve excellences parama are associated with the ten perfections paramita. A more creative yet widely reported etymology divides paramita into para and mita, with para meaning beyond, the further bank, shore, or boundary, and mita meaning that which has arrived, or ida meaning that which goes. Paramita then means that which has gone beyond that which goes beyond", or, "...transcendent". This reading is reflected in the Tibetan translation Pharol 2 Phyan Pa gone to the other side". <laughs> Theravada Buddhism Theravada teachings on the Paramis can be found in late canonical books and post-canonical commentaries. Canonical sources In the Pali Canon, the Buddhavamsa lists the ten perfections dasa paramiyo as Dana parami, generosity, giving of oneself Sila parami, virtue, morality, proper conduct Nekama parami, renunciation Panya parami, transcendental wisdom, insight Viriya parami, energy, diligence, vigor, effort Kanti Parami, patience, tolerance, forbearance, acceptance, endurance Saka Parami, truthfulness, honesty Adhithana Parami, determination, resolution Metta Parami, goodwill, friendliness, loving-kindness Upekka Parami, equanimity, serenity Two of the above virtues, Metta and Upekka, also are Brahmaviharas. Historicity The Theravadan teachings on the Paramis can be found in canonical books Jataka Tales, Apadana, Buddhavamsa, Karyapitaka and post-canonical commentaries written to supplement the Pali Canon at a later time, and thus might not be an original part of the Theravadan teachings. The oldest parts of the Sutta Pitaka for example, Majjhima Nikaya, Diga Nikaya, Samyutta Nikaya and the Angatara Nikaya do not have any mention of the Paramis as a category though they are all mentioned individually, some scholars even refer to the teachings of the Paramis as a semi-Mahayana teaching added to the scriptures at a later time in order to appeal to the interests and needs of the lay community and to popularize their religion. However, these views rely on the early scholarly presumption of Mahayana originating with religious devotion and appeal to laity. More recently, scholars have started to open up early Mahayana literature, which is very ascetic and expounds the ideal of the monk's life in the forest. Therefore, the practice of the Paramitas in Buddhism is close to the ideals of the ascetic tradition of the Sramana. Traditional practice. Bodhi 2005 maintains that, in the earliest Buddhist texts which he identifies as the first four Nikayas, those seeking the extinction of suffering nibbana pursued the Noble Eightfold Path. As time went on, a backstory was provided for the multi-life development of the Buddha, as a result, the ten perfections were identified as part of the path for the Bodhisattva Pali, Bodhisattva. Over subsequent centuries, the Paramis were seen as being significant for aspirants to both Buddhahood and Arahantship. Thus, Bodhi 2005 summarizes, It should be noted that in established Theravada tradition the Paramis are not regarded as a discipline peculiar to candidates for Buddhahood alone but as practices which must be fulfilled by all aspirants to enlightenment and deliverance, whether as Buddhas, Pachekabuddhas, or disciples. 
What distinguishes the Supreme Bodhisattva from aspirants in the other two vehicles is the degree to which the paramis must be cultivated and the length of time they must be pursued. But the qualities themselves are universal requisites for deliverance, which all must fulfill to at least a minimal degree to merit the fruits of the liberating path. Mahayana <inaudible> Buddhism <inaudible> 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 In Mahayana Buddhism, the Prajnaparamita Sutras, the Lotus Sutra and a large number of other texts list the six perfections Dana Paramita – generosity, giving of oneself in Chinese, Korean, and Japanese, Bu Shi Bo Luo Mi in Tibetan, Espian Pa Sila Paramita – virtue, morality, discipline, proper conduct, Kai Jia Bo Luo Mi, Tshul Krims Kasanti Paramita – Patience, Tolerance, Forbearance, Acceptance, Endurance, Ren Ru Bo Luo Mi, Bzod Pa Virya Paramita – Energy, Diligence, Vigor, Effort, Jing Jin Bo Luo Mi, Bertsen Dhyana Paramita – One-pointed Concentration, Contemplation, Chan Ding Bo Luo Mi, Bsam Gtan Prajna Paramita, Wisdom, Insight, Ban Ruo Bo Luo Mi, She's Rab. Note that this list is also mentioned by the Theravada commentator Dhammapala, who says it is equivalent to the above list of ten. In the Ten Stages Sutra, four more paramitas are listed. 7. Upaya Paramita, Skillful Means, Thangbian Bo Luo Mi 8. Pranadana Paramita, Vow, Resolution, Aspiration, Determination, Yuan Bo Luo Mi 9. Bala Paramita, Spiritual Power Li Bo Luo Mi 10. Jnana Paramita, Knowledge Ji Bo Luo Mi Tibetan Buddhism According to the perspective of Tibetan Buddhism, Mahayana practitioners have the choice of two practice paths, the path of perfection Sanskrit, paramitayana, or the path of tantra Sanskrit, tantrayana, which is the Vajrayana. Traleg Kayabgan Rinpoche renders, paramita into English as, transcendent action, and then frames and qualifies it. When we say that paramita means, transcendent action, we mean it in the sense that actions or attitude are performed in a non-egocentric manner. Transcendental does not refer to some external reality, but rather to the way in which we conduct our lives and perceive the world, either in an egocentric or a non-egocentric way. The six paramitas are concerned with the effort to step out of the egocentric mentality. The pure illusory body is said to be endowed with the six perfections Sanskrit, satparamita. the first four perfections are skillful means practice while the last two are wisdom practice. These contain all the methods and skills required for eliminating delusion and fulfilling others' needs. Also, leading from happy to happier states. See also Pansa Paramesthi, five perfections in Jainism.